I'm here in Medjugorje and I'm with, what's your name? Annie. Annie, where are you from? London. London. It's the first time here? No, I have lost count. I've come more than 20 times. Wow. It's when did... 20 and 30. Wow. When did you hear the first time about Medjugorje? The first time I came was in the war mm -hmm. in um, 20, oh, 1993. Wow. 1993. And when, when, where did you hear about Medjugorje? How did you um, we get connected? We had in our church who uh, he was a teacher and he had all these videos about Fatima and Garibandel and Medjugorje uh -huh. and, and I recently read an article in the Times, Sunday Times magazine about Medjugorje uh -huh. and I thought I'd love to go there but that yeah. was probably two years before uh -huh. and then I'd forgotten all about it and then when I heard he was doing a talk on Medjugorje uh -huh. I thought oh I have to go to that talk and I went and it was about it was a it was about coming here really yeah. and it was a big witness uh -huh. and so um, I, s I went home and I told my husband, I said, we've got to go to this place mm -hmm. and his mother-in-law as well and the three of us came. Mm -hmm. Wow. And what did you experience? Um, it was during the war, it was very much simpler than it is now and we were staying in a, it was quite a big pilgrimage, we were staying with a family as Our Lady likes us to stay with families mm -hmm. and we stayed in this house and uh, there was no rubbish collection at the time. Um, because of the war, so the streets were filled with rubbish and a bit smelly. Mm -hmm. And we also saw a lot of um, begging people in the fields mm -hmm. and very uh, strange people coming into the church, you know, suffering from the shock of the war. Mm -hmm. So it was quite an experience. Yeah. But Our Lady had said she would protect everybody who came in the war, and that's why we felt safe to come because mm -hmm. we believe in Our Lady. Wow, and you were protected, no? The yeah, we were she keeps her promise, yeah? We were all protected. And did you receive any graces here over the years coming to Medjugorje? Plenty of graces. The, at that first time, I received the grace of saying the rosary because I'm actually a convert. Yeah. And from the um, Anglican Church? or convert from the uh, Anglican Church. Anglican Church, Church. yeah. Um, so I'd had a sort of conversion to that 10 years mm -hmm. prior. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you my main conversion here mm -hmm. was uh, the Eucharist. Mm -hmm. Understanding the presence of Jesus in the Eucharist. Because the Church of England don't believe uh, mm -hmm. that Jesus is present in the Eucharist. So when I became a Catholic, I didn't understand it either, in spite of all the tuition. So I would say to Jesus every time I took the Eucharist, I would say, Jesus, please help me to understand your presence in the Eucharist. I said it every time I took Holy Communion. When I came here, Father Slavko was here. And it was Father Slavko's reverence for the Eucharist that Jesus taught me his presence in the Eucharist. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm nearly crying because it was so profound. It was so profound and I understood it ever since. That's the gift that I was given here. The Rosary, the Divine Mercy and understanding the presence of Christ in the Eucharist. And then you converted to the Catholic Church? No, I was already a convert. You were already? Uh -huh. So um, that was like a second conversion. Wow, beautiful. Much deeper conversion. Uh -huh. yeah. So then we just kept coming back and coming uh -huh. back. Do you want to tell about other experiences you made um, here? Other experiences here. That was definitely the most profound. Um, something happens every time, but, but nothing as profound as understanding yes, the Eucharist. Uh -huh. There's always graces in every pilgrimage you come on. Um, just, uh, you know, I, I love Our Lady so much and uh, understanding Our Lady more and more, mm -hmm. trying to follow her messages. In fact, we have just met at uh, Victor's restaurant across the road where they have uh, free bread and water every Wednesday and Friday for uh, people who are fasting. So it's always an encouragement <laughs> here yeah. uh, to deepen your fasting ability. Mm -hmm. I'm not so good at home but here I, I manage it. Mm -hmm. And what would you tell people of Medjugorje who don't know about the place, why should they come here? You know? They should come here because this place is peace on earth. It's yeah. like heaven on earth and everybody mm -hmm. says the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's peace on earth. It is heaven. You, you just feel Our Lady's presence. It's drenched with Our Lady's presence. Mm -hmm. And we had a marvelous priest this morning, um, a Chinese priest, and he was uh, in, the, in the underground church in China. Uh -huh. Gave the most marvelous witness. He's only three years a priest. He's now in Ireland. Um, and I forgot what I was going to say. What was the question you asked? No, no, it's beautiful what you said. <laughs> and the priest, what did yeah. the priest No, he was, he was telling us a story uh -huh. of. Um, being in the underground church uh, oh. and, and the bishop in oh. China uh, is, has been in prison for 30 years, he's still in prison. It's very, very difficult and as a child he, he, uh, they had adoration and those were underground and uh, so he had to train over in Ireland mm -hmm. and he's a priest in Ireland 
but he can't be in touch with his family. They're always trying to find out where he is. Mm -hmm. And all the women were weeping in the church this morning. They really were, including myself. Mm -hmm. um, very, very moving testimony. Um, and there have been so many uh, priestly vocations also that have come from Medjugorje. Mm -hmm. um, and beautiful, just beautiful. And what would you tell people, like, why should they come to Medjugorje? Why should they come to Medjugorje? Because it, it's the best place on earth. I come here, if I can, every year. Mm -hmm. And my sister says to me, well, oh, you're not going there again. Why are you going there again? You know, she thinks I'm absolutely daft to go to mm -hmm. the same place every year. But I'd rather come here than anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, because here is God. Here is heaven. It's the closest place to, to God and heaven on earth. And Our Lady teaches us so much. Mm -hmm. And she teaches us how to live our lives for her son, Jesus. Um, she's always pointing us to Jesus and uh, to live our lives so deeply. And the more you come here, the more you just want to come here more because this is heaven. If you want to get to heaven, come to Medjugorje and do it soon because you'll miss your opportunity otherwise. Thank you for this beautiful interview. Thank you. <laughs>